Chapter 11. Who is the little girl in the photo? Man, today sure felt like a long day. Yeah, some school days can feel like that. So how have things been since you and your brother got reunited with your mother? It's been really good. I've been able to see her more. My dad doesn't know though, so please don't tell him that me and my brother are seeing her in secret. Of course! I'd never do that to you. Thanks. My brother's been saving up his money from his part-time jobs he has. Once when he gets his own place, I can stay with him. That's right, your brother's almost 20. So doesn't that mean he'll be like your guardian now or something? Honestly, I've always seen him as my guardian. He's been taking care of me since I came around. I'm glad you have such an awesome brother. Yeah, I'm very lucky. Don't mess with him though, he's a Scorpio. I'll make sure not to. So you must be really happy to know that you have a stepfather in your life now. Mm-hmm, very. Apparently me and my brother have met him before when we were little. I'll have to ask my mom about that. I see. Oh yeah, look what I found. Where did you get this? Under my bed in a box. You shouldn't have this. I'm sorry. Please don't yell at me. I'm sorry. I'd better get home. Bye. Okay, see ya. It was strange of her to lash out at me. I mean, she's always so kind and sweet near me, but maybe she knows this little girl. Hey, are you feeling better? A little. That's good. Look. Hmm? Oh, so you do know her. Yes. What was her name? Yoshiko. Aww, me and her, we were really close. What happened? It was in the summertime, and I ran away from my dad, and I got lost in the forest. Hello? I got lost, and I didn't know where I was going until I met her. Are you lost? Huh? Oh, yes. Can you help me? Sure, come on. Thank you. What's your name? It's Yoshiko. What a beautiful name. Thank you. What's your name? Oh, it's Masako. Pretty name, Masako. Are you new here? Mmm, sort of. I kind of, you know, got lost in the forest, so I'm glad I met you, though. I hope you can help me out, though. Of course I'll help you out. And maybe later on you and I can become friends? I like that a lot, actually. Awesome! From now on, can I call you Big Sis? Well, um, I'll think about it. Oh, look! We made it! Told you I knew the way. Thank you. Do you want to meet again tomorrow? Of course! See you tomorrow! Okay, bye! And just like that, we met the next day. Turns out the house was near the forest I got lost in, but the day after, we became really good friends. Almost like sisters. Alright, where are you hiding? <laughs> found you. No! I thought we weren't allowed to throw pillows in this game. Well, I didn't think we had rules. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh yes, I almost forgot to give you this. Hmm? It's a remember me box. You put your precious things in here. Thank you so much. I'll cherish it forever. Masako, I'm here to pick you up. Oh, Yuriku, good timing. Can you take a few pictures of us together? Uh, sure. Why not? Oh, they look awesome! Thank you, Hiriku! You're welcome. You ready to go, Masako? Not yet. Here. We'll each have a photo of each other, so when we look back, we can always see how cute we were together. That's a good idea! I hope we become friends for a long time. I'm gonna put mine in my Remember Me box. What about you? Same. I always want to treasure this moment forever. Well, you should probably get going before your dad finds out. Yeah. See you tomorrow! Bye! Life was great until one day everything changed. Masako! Hey! You awake? Uh, Yoshiko, what are you doing here? I want to show you something I found in the forest. Hurry! Alright. Ta-da! A treehouse? Yep! It's been here forever! I see. Let's show you big brother, big sis. Oh yes, definitely! I'm sure we can all play here all together. Hmm, I guess we gotta cross this log to get to the other side. Looks like it. Whoa! Be careful! Okay. Yoshiko, help me! I can't swim. Don't worry, I'll get you out. Ah. Where did she go? No, no, no. I gotta get help. That was probably the fastest I'd ever run in my life. The cops came and they found Yoshiko, but... Did you find her? We did, but... Great! Can I see her? Masako, Yoshiko's dead. She drowned. What? Masako, I'm so sorry. No, she, she can't be dead. It's not true. How could she be dead? She was with me like 15 minutes ago. She can't be dead. <sighs> Yoshiko, I'm so sorry. My life changed that day. 
It was darkness for a long time. It felt like forever since the sun had come out. I couldn't eat or sleep. Hmm. Where's the box? It should be here somewhere. What are you doing here? Let's go. Wait, Dad, what is this? Hey, that's not yours. Let go. Wait, stop. It's gonna rip. <laughs> Whatever. Now get your ass in the car. Did you get it? No, Dad caught me. I'm so sorry, Masako. I'm just gonna have to leave it. I'm sorry. I blamed myself for her death, and I still do to this very day. So the house that I live in was Yoshiko's house? Mm-hmm. Oh, Masako. I'm so sorry. If I would have known, I, I just... I would have never let you come to my house. No, it's fine. You didn't know. I guess it's my fault for burying my feelings so deep that I just don't know how to talk about them anymore. What were her favorite flowers? Um, white orchids. Why? Great, I have a plan. Oh? Meet me at the river tomorrow, okay? Okay. So what exactly is your plan here, Aiko? I don't see why we have to be here. This place kind of gives me back bad memories. Yes, I understand, but hear me out. Okay, so I bought these white orchids. Now what we're going to do is say something to Yoshiko and then throw the flower petals into the river and then she'll finally be at peace. She never got a proper goodbye, so I'll go first. Uh, Yoshiko, I'm sorry that your life was cut so short, and I'm really sorry I never got to meet you. I bet you were really adorable too with Masako, and just know that I'm never going to replace you as Masako's best friend. I'm sorry that your life was cut so short, but I hope that one day you can be together with her again. I wish you peace. You're free now. Uh, Yoshiko. It's been a long time, but I'm really sorry I haven't really been thinking about you much. It's not that I don't want to, but I feel terrible that I haven't been visiting your grave since the day you died. It's just really hard for me to, you know, go back there, but, but from now on I'm going to try and visit your grave every day. No matter what happens in my life, I'll try to make time for you. And I've been a horrible friend, but I'm ready to talk about the past and finally move on. You were a really good friend and like a sister to me. I miss you a lot. I'm so sorry you had to die young. It wasn't fair. It should have been me that day, but it wasn't. I have accepted what's happened to you and I'm a stronger person now because of it. I miss you so much, but it's time to set you free. I love you. Feel better? Yeah, I do actually. See that? It's a sign letting you know that she's finally at peace. Wow, I just don't understand. What don't you understand? How people think that you can just recover just like that. It's not how it works. You can still grieve for a very long time, but people still won't understand. They're always going to think that you've moved on and that you just don't think about it anymore. But that's not true. Even though I don't talk about it that much, it's something I always have to think about. It's something I always deal with, too. I'm a terrible friend, but I just... <sighs> Masako, you shouldn't apologize for how you're feeling. Yes, we're human, but it's okay to grieve. And maybe sometimes people just don't understand that you can grieve for as long as you want, and that's okay. I've never been in the position that you have, but I can totally feel your pain right now, and it's really upsetting me, but it's okay, Masako. You can grieve for as long as you want to. It's okay. Grieve for many years if you have to. I won't judge you. Just know that I'm always going to be here for you, and I just don't ever want to lose you. Okay? Thank you, Aiko. You're such a good friend. Maybe sometime you and me can go visit her sometime, okay? Just maybe not when it's a busy school night. Of course, I'll come and visit her with you. I like that very much. Thank you, Haiko. And so after that, Masako felt a lot better. And I'm happy because her friend is finally at peace. Not only that, but she's probably watching over me too now. I'll make sure to take care of our room and make sure it's nice and clean all the time. <laughs>